Hello and welcome to the special morning edition of Mediocre Lab Stream. So early. You guys, you guys <laughs> are so tired. Um, I feel it, great. It looks like we got a, a good group going. As you can see, we have the entire crew on the couch. We got Chad P, Hallball, T, and Moose. And Moose. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> I like that. That was nice. <laughs> I knew he would want to, to own it, like take it on himself. Actually, I figured I was going to get forgotten again. Right. Also, that that was part of it, too. Um, all right. So, first things first, you can chat with us in the YouTube. You can tweet at Mediocre Labs. Um, leave us your feedback in the comments of the thread. And, yeah. Uh, oh, we might as well mention right off the top. We mentioned in the thread topics, so you probably already know this, but in case you got roped into to this somehow, uh, we need your help. If you like the stream, if you want to see it continue, we want to see it continue. Tell a friend. Uh, we're going to be sending out a survey after this um, stream to get your thoughts and kind of hopefully have some support from you to let us keep doing this, because we would love to keep doing this. So We'll post it on the forum. We will post it in the thread, um, so go ahead and check that out after we're done. And we should mention... We teased it in the thread. We are doing a giveaway. So here's what happened. <laughs> we were really excited to do this stream today, specifically this morning, because of an item that we were going to have that was really cool and we were Super really excited cool. about. And then <laughs> we don't have it now. Oops. So that's kind of where the confusion came and why I crossed out the super cool item that we're selling on Wednesday to Monday. Because now that is when it's sold. Yep. We can't tell you what it is. Probably. Probably. Yeah. But whenever this thing happens to be sold, that's what these prizes will be. Mm -hmm. You just have to trust us. That just it's trust really us. Good. It's cool. It's a good prize. <laughs> <laughs> it's it'll be worth the time you're putting into this contest. Mm -hmm. So the so contest let's, let's is twenty contest. minutes at little tops. The, the contest is this site. Well, it's not super new anymore, but we have a newer site than med.com. <laughs> <laughs> and it's called drone.horse. And it is your, you know, it's a forum where you can talk about all things drone. It's a really active community. It's really cool. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, there's some really uh, Gary H. Gary and a couple other guys that are really into drones. And they'll, they're talking about modding, gimbals, crashing, flying, filming, things. filming. All, all the things that you like with drones. Yeah. Problem is, we don't have like a mascot or anything yet. That's so true. your job is to draw your interpretation of drone.horse. Any medium you want. MS Paint. Photoshop. Illustrator. Probably paint, though. Pencils. Pen? Watercolor. Whatever you want to use to draw. Sidewalk chalk. Drone.horse. Ooh, I like that idea. <laughs> Time lapse it if you do sidewalk chalk, Ooh. please. Just make Light painting. Whatever you want to do, as long as you draw okay. your interpretation of what drone.horse is, you have until 2 p.m. Eastern to finish these drawings. Post your submissions in the thread, and then the four of us will judge our favorites. And, and the there'll best, be three there'll winners? There'll be three winners. First prize, Fukabukuro. Put together by us, uh, it won't be terrible. Probably. I mean... Maybe. There'll be probably some decent or fun stuff in there at least. Don't start with the My Little Drony. <laughs> no Bill, one do that. Bill, stop it right there. You, you, will, <laughs> you will lose. Uh, okay. <laughs> Second is three of this super cool thing that we're Mystery. selling on Monday, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Third prize, one of the things that we're selling on Monday, probably. Mm -hmm. Again, just trust us. It's cool. It's worth it's, your time. It's worth the time. To draw what you think drone dot horse is. Yeah. So, um, that is that. <laughs> so something we want to try new on this version of the show, this edition of the show, was uh, a a news segment. We want to talk about some mediocre news. Some we wanted to give our takes and what we how we felt about this this story. So we have a couple. Missions. Uh, this one seems pretty to start with. Some blind people themselves to use echolocation. So, 
This sounds crazy, and I want you guys to give your initial thoughts while I read the story, because it's so early that I didn't get here in time to read it ahead of time. So what do you think about this? I mean, the first season of Daredevil was really good. <laughs> really good, if you guys have a and that's kind of what we're getting at here, a little bit. Um, so is that just a continuation, like a spinoff of that movie that came out a little while ago? No. With Ben Affleck? Yeah, the Ben Affleck. No. Movie. No, because he's Batman now. Oh, uh, okay. Man, I, I don't follow comics at all. <laughs> okay, so here's what's going on. A subset of the blind population has figured out how to use echolocation to navigate the world. They make clicking sounds with their tongues or by clicking their fingers and then perceive how the sounds bounce off objects around them. It's a learned skill, and re researchers think we're all physiologically capable of picking it up, but it requires training and practice to master. So that's kind of awesome. We could all use echolocation. We just don't have any desire to, because we can just see. Try. So there's no point, really, but I think it's really cool. I think it's smart. It's fascinating to me when people lose a sense or have a heightened sense and how they kind of use that to navigate through the world or, like, about the way that people who have never had sight kind of explain this is really interesting like dreams people if you sight at one time like you were born sighted and then you went blind for some reason and you dream you have sight in your dreams but if you are blind from birth when you dream it's very abstract and it's not it's obviously not sight because it's based on what your normal right. you know your experience is I heard the same thing with uh, with deaf people too. That when they, they dream, can, people they don't talk. To... They people sign in their dreams. Oh, that's oh, interesting. I was say they learn to hear with their eyes. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Yeah, they kind of do. Yeah. Um, I have I have really bad uh, my ears, and I definitely um, pay closer attention to like how sound bounces in a room or proximity because I definitely talk too loud usually because I can't hear myself. Hmm. Um, so I try to listen to Echo. I don't think it's the same thing because I'm not like Flipper. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I'm well, here's the crazy thing. It says this team who did this study said a skilled enough user of echolocation can convey knowledge about texture, density, shape, and what an object might be made of. So it uses the same brain areas that process visual information about scenery. Huh. Whoa. So it says, that means for users of echolocation, the world is a richly detailed place. Uh, sorry, by the way, whoever sent that story in, I didn't keep your name, but so I'll give you a thanks in the thread. Um, but that's crazy. Like, can you imagine, like, just having your eyes closed and, like, snapping, and then you're like, well, there's a light over there because it's shaped like this. Do you think we could develop this skill? That's what they said. Yeah, they said we could. Well, do you think we could? <laughs> like, the four of us. I'm right. going to try. Through the course of a podcast? Yeah. <laughs> totally. What if we started a podcast and just tried to develop our echolocation <laughs> skills? That'd be a really... A, honestly, I don't know how that would... <laughs> but you'd listen, though, right? Uh, would I? I don't know. I mean, we would. I would listen, for sure, yeah. point. <laughs> yeah, because we're echolocating. Yes. For the story, uh, I thought this story submitted would be kind of fun, which was a Mexican demon named... <laughs> That's newest urban legend. I did read this one. Um, so it's where it's really stupid. I mean, we can't do it because you need it to be flat like this. But you draw a line, like you draw two lines, and then you lay two pencils on top of each other along those lines. You ask a question. Of course, it has some ritual tied to it of saying, like, Charlie, Charlie, are you there? Or whatever. And then the pencil to move to, to yes or no. It's like a Ouija board kind of, slash yeah, Bloody Mary. It's Ouija board, Bloody Mary. But then, you know, there's the pencil always moves, and people freak out on Vine. But it's for a reason. I have looked up a, a related story that says, Charlie, Charlie, Challenge Explained. It's a demon being summoned. It's gravity. Right. <laughs> uh, so your pencil is always going to be, you know, it's going to, because it's balancing on another pencil, it's not imperfect, or it's not perfect, it's gonna move to one side. So, whatever. I guess, uh, move to summon a demon right now. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, how that one, pencil. I think. Alright, what do you. Uh, we can talk about this still, though. Yeah. Have you guys ever used a Ouija board? How do you. Stuff? So. I mean, I like stuff. <laughs> <laughs> for me, personally, I'm a very logical, like, 
skeptical person. Like, I need, show me the proof, and I will believe you. Um, but. Well, it's got to. No, it'll, it'll be fine. All right. You just continue on. Well, you gotta say when you get it. You gotta say Charlie, Charlie. Let, are you let there? me let me handle this, all right? <laughs> this isn't the first Mexican demon that Will has seen. <laughs> Will is classically trained in summoning <laughs> Mexican demons. So I went to college. <laughs> oh. But yeah, my I don't know. I as much as I am that way, like I am very very much. Skeptical, show me the proof, logical, science minded. Do you have to speak the inc- incantation in Spanish or No, you is don't. He, is he a bilingual demon? Well that's the funny thing is someone that's mentioned in that thing? story. <laughs> it's another funny thing. Someone mentioned in the story. Uh, Charlie is not a Mexican name. If it was a Mexican name, Carlito, because that is the equivalent. See. Si, so that's verdad. Carlito Carlito. Oh. Are you there? Uh, anyway. As much as I am that way, I still okay. like all of this, like, stupid, <laughs> like, occult stuff. I don't know why. I think it was, like, as a kid growing up, I loved the X-Files, and I loved that kind of stuff. And that made me, as much as I can logically, like, my brain knows this isn't true, I still like the feeling of, like, ooh, it's scary. So, Carlito, Carlito, Carlito estoy aquí. Stone. Now we Stone, wait. Ike. See, it's probably. Oh! Oh! <laughs> he says <laughs> meh. So, <laughs> so uh, that, that was a huge waste of time, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that worked or not. All right, what are you guys' thoughts? Bloody Mary, have you ever done it? Uh, Beetlejuice, Ouija boards. Yeah, we played with all that stuff. In, when, but I'm, I don't know, I don't remember how I felt about it then. I mean, now I think I'm like you. I am super logical and want facts and science and things like that um, to be the reason I do things. But like you said, there is still something like kind of cool yeah. about it. Um, and maybe for the same reasons you said, that you kind of grew up with like when, when I grew up, like that stuff was like at the height of its popularity and satanic cults. Yeah. <clears throat> Plus I grew up in a satanic That's cult. Uh, actually the town that my mom grew up in, um, after, <clears throat> which I still have family in, like there was a period where a group of Wiccans moved in mm-hmm. and they were awesome. The 90s. <laughs> they were so cool. Are they the nicest people. They were the nicest people. No, they were great. And I just didn't understand. Uh, yeah. But maybe it's because of all the supernatural voodoo. <laughs> voodoo. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Moose. <laughs> What well, are your thoughts on this? Uh, it didn't work. <laughs> so, um, clearly, uh, I think maybe the pencils and the Sharpie was causing uh-huh, a right. misalignment. I um, mean, the demon... Probably also mocked it by saying meh and yes and yeah. not C and no. Right. Charlie doesn't care about no Sharpie. And only cares about pencils. That's... It's also much harder to balance. Mechanical pencil. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, but the Sharpie is too flat, so, it, mm. you know. Well, the pencil is flat. It's an octagon or hexagon. It's one of those shapes, one of those mm-hmm. gone shapes. It's a polygon, mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> have two polygons together on a plane. They attract um, gravity. Hispanic supernatural forces. <laughs> <laughs> it's graphite, I think, is a very powerful substance. <laughs> are trying to harness for computing powers. Um, how come so, all this demon shit is boring and stupid? It's a good question, Joel. <laughs> what is? What do you mean by that? Like, it's not... Like, we're not slitting our wrists and sacrificing a goat. Like, is that the kind of demon shit you want to see? You gotta see? be careful saying that on this site. Well, here. <laughs> Sacrifice a goat, people get that's hurt. That's true. He clarifies, why the hell would a demon want to diddle with pencils? <laughs> okay, that's actually a fair point. Hey... Always, I, I think it was a stand-up bit that I picked up along the way. But someone said, like, they show these these ghost stories so really popular in the 90s. Mm-hmm. Where they showed, like, a haunted house. Or what was that fear on MTV? I oh, loved yeah. that show, even though it was the stupidest Fear thing. Factor. Mm, <laughs> different. different. But I, they always said, like, this is, this is a Civil War house and everyone died near here. And then it's like, and the ghost just, like, knocks over a teacup. That's it? Like, that's your... Like, you were brutally murdered in a war, right. and the best you could do is knock over a cup? Right. It's always... Get your shit together, ghost. It's, it's always so boring. 
Right. Ghosts need to step up their game, I think, is is the message of Charlie Charlie. Man, remember <clears throat> Ghostbusters 2? That thing was out of control. He Seriously. stole a baby? <laughs> he stole a baby? Where are he the ghosts that are stealing slime? babies? He, what uh, else did he do? He stuff bathtub like yeah a eat a woman and a baby babies were were ghost bait <laughs> now ghosts are like oh, tea kettle hey you need to keep an eye on your baby i will make sure there's no ghosts around. i hope there's no ghosts around <laughs> make him practice his ninjaing and yeah baby ninjas are important <laughs> today all right let's do one more uh quick quick um it, a couple submissions were about people the Successful people wear the same thing every day. Um, what do you guys feel about this? Do you think it's even true that removing a small choice that you have to make every day gives you enough time or whatever the idea behind it is without having to think, like, is this to this? Is it to that? Like, do you think this matters at all? Do you think it affects your stress level? How do you feel about this? I think if it's comfortable, I think that makes the big difference. Like, if I can wear something comfortable every day. If you could wear a onesie covered in cats every day? Yeah. Or like, well, you can. I have, they're my favorite things ever. I have a pair of Ben and Jerry's sweats. They're the ultimate I don't care pants. Mm -hmm. I could wear those every day. And I Nothing's could be stopping you. You can do that. I mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> but... <laughs> I, mean, I, I would argue that if you wore something the same thing every day, it would eventually become comfortable yeah, it would because become it would be normal. normal. Very no. true. I okay. So growing up, I moved around a lot. I lived in Australia for a little bit, and we had everyone has school uniforms down there, and it was awful. It was like I had to wear a skirt every mm -hmm. day, which is stupid, and it was like I was awkwardly sized, so the skirt was too small and the shirt was too big, and it was super humid and hot, and it was just uncomfortable. Every single day of it. See, that's different, though, because you didn't get to choose that. This is more about, like, now. So, like, if you could wear, like, a silver space jumpsuit every day, and it would be fine, like, I, I don't know if I'm into this. Like, I'm not a big fashion person. It's not like I <clears throat> am super conscious about what I'm wearing. Obviously, I wear a pretty much a mesh shirt every single day while I work here. But I don't know. I just feel it feels weird to me. Same thing. I also don't think it takes a lot of time out of my day to decide what I'm wearing. But it sounds like you almost wear the same thing every day anyway. Yeah, That's but the they're point. all different. They're all different shirts. And I do like variety in certain, like, fun socks sometimes. Like, that's always fun. Yeah. What if I had to wear the same socks every day? I don't know. It's so, just... example of this is Steve Jobs. Yes. So, have you guys read the Steve Jobs, Walter Isaacson documentary? documentary? What do you call a book that's about a person? Is it a documentary? A documentary, yes. Yeah, have you read it? <laughs> no, I have not. So they do a, pre they, they do a pretty good job of, of diving into, like, his... Um, whatever he was. <laughs> to wear the same thing every day. He drove the same car. Um, he always had the same model of upgraded it every year he drove or he drove the same clothes it's yeah he wore the same clothes <laughs> you know like everything was the same but and all that just sounds like entrepreneur nonsense to me like it sounds like oh know. you gotta maximize your blah 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 and take away your it like, does sound like that for sure but there there's something to it but what I like is know. it is it just the, the lack of stress or is that kind of person is steve jobs just the kind of guy that doesn't care about that anyway, so he obviously doesn't matter to him if he wears the same thing every day. Maybe it's about setting expectations. Like always having a consistent yeah. view like his, of who's his in His personality was known to be up and down, up and down, like crazy all the time, and so if you had something, even as minimal as your maybe it's about setting an expectation. A constant? Yeah. I guess that can be true. I mean, his level at, at that level where people are doing this, it Sorry. does actually... You know, those, whatever, two minutes it takes to make a decision what to wear, like, that's worth millions of dollars. Or he's just weird to find another thing to be weird about. Like, oh, that could be. Wear yeah. the same clothes every day. See, I think and that'll be another thing that people think. I'm going to wear the same clothes, clothes and not wear the same deodorant every day. That's what it is, because it's like, it's like Soylent, like nerd slurry. Like, people, I have, if you're drink Soylent out there... Do what you want to do. You're but talking I about think the real, always, actual Soylent, yeah, not Soylent Green. Not Soylent Green made of people. No one's still drinking that. They've all died. No, it's 
still around. Like, I just saw an article about it the other day, and it showed a guy chugging it out of a blender. What is it? It's a, it's a food substitute. So instead of a subscription service. Instead of <laughs> eating, you get, like, this stuff that you mix into a paste, and it's like a shake, kind of, but it's okay. supposed to be pretty much tasteless, but it replaces a meal. So it gives you all the nutrients and everything you would need from food, but you don't have to eat. And it's big in the tech industry because it's fast. So you make it really quick, and then you just chug it down and go back to coding or whatever. Right. Hmm. You're doing it wrong. If you're, you have one life, eat food. It's good. So stop, post, stop post drinking soil. If you're we drinking soil, we want to know and you? tell you how wrong you are. <laughs> Actually, I think there is something to that, though. If I could have, like, just human kibble, like, just... I want to eat monkey treats like no, that guy. No, I don't, because that that experiment failed. <laughs> but if there was just something that it just tasted like whatever, but I just ate it and that was all, like I didn't have to deal with that. But I don't you want to eat, eat something food? food? When I wanted to, I, and then when I don't want to, I can eat the little... Then get some Soylent, because that's the same no, thing. No, I have Hot Pockets. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. Oh, God. <laughs> Those aren't the same. All right, I think we... We got pretty intense, so yeah. we need to we need to take a quick break. We're gonna go ahead and show you guys a, a brief interview with special guest from last week, uh, my boss. So let's let's go ahead and show that. Hey Dave, thanks for doing this interview. Uh, how'd you prepare for the holiday weekend, and what did you do? Ripped my pants into shreds. <laughs> that sort of stuff. Watched a lot of Survivor Man shows. Uh, you don't like to go. Sit around the fire. I've had to like try to hold my tongue when I've got friends who kind of want to tell me some ghost story. All right, we hate to get serious, but there's been some rumors going around that you may be a serial killer. Is there any truth to those rumors? No, not at all. I think it's. I think. I think it's totally absurd. Of course, of course, but you got to admit you spend a lot of time looking up serial killers on Wikipedia. I mean, they just keep doing cooler and better things. Yeah, I love finding out about new things. You know, just uh, uh, I have an innate curiosity, I guess, to always be hunting around, and the internet has matched up really well with that, to always have insanely num insane numbers of new things. It's just great to flip around at stuff and get ideas from, from what you see. Ideas? Like, what would happen to victims if you were a serial killer? The realistic thing is die very quickly. Um, but what would I try to do? You know, I've read books about like things that you're supposed to try, but it would not go well. It seems like you've given this a lot of thought. Uh, what would you be newspaper? I mean, I think I gotta go with DJ underscore at this point. <laughs> I've sort of built a personal brand here. You should be worried about getting caught by the police. Yeah, that's right. I want them to stay far away from me. Uh, okay. Just change topics. Um, uh, if you were made president, what's the first thing you would do? Uh, what state would I wipe off the face of the earth? Wow, that's a pretty big question. That's not really what I asked. It can just be a thing that you're always thinking about and always remember a long time after this. So, you know, I mean, I'll just go ahead and say, uh, Wyoming, 500,000 people live there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just screwy that Wyoming gets two senators. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. Are they, like, killed? Thanks for joining us. Do you have any other final comments? My iPhone is amazing. That's where I spend my money. And we're back. Uh, thanks, Dave, for joining us for that brief interview. Uh, please don't fire me. Orculus. It wasn't my idea. Actually, it was kind of, it was kind of my <laughs> totally idea. Totally your idea. Uh, I was involved. Uh, so let's move on to uh, maybe it bothers you more than it should, or maybe it bothers us more than it should. Uh, we're gonna. We have a lot of awesome submissions. Thank you all. So <clears throat> we'll try to get through as many as we can. Steve O says, "People treat a red light or stop sign like a yield sign to a complete, also known as the California stop." <laughs> California roll. Yes, California roll. Mm -hmm. um, how do you guys feel about this? Depends. Stop. <laughs> Just laws, stop at the stop sign. Laws exist for a reason. Just don't drive like a jackass. Yep. I think that's about it. Moving on. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, we all do it sometimes. If no one's around, eh, it's fine. Uh, all right. No. <clears throat> there are some places you where don't... it's legal. Like, if there's no one around, you can just roll, or you can drive through a red light. That's weird. It should be that way. 
Uh, anyway, but we can't trust the people that are driving because they're terrible. Especially sure. around here. Steve, oh, uh, also, why do people go to events and insist on recording video with their phones instead of just enjoying the moment the way it was meant to be? That is the worst thing that we currently live This is a big one for me. Put I, your goddamn phone away. Put it away. You go to a concert, you get at most three pictures, no video, because you're never going to watch it and no one wants to watch it. True. Mm-hmm. You post it to Facebook, no one's going to like, oh, I want to watch this horrible video and <laughs> terrible, terrible quality. quality of this concert that I don't care about. Take pictures and put your phone away. I agree with the three picture rule. I think that's a, a solid one. You want one of the stage... You want one with, like, you in the crowd and, like, one with the band in the background, if you can swing it. Or even just three pictures of the band. It doesn't even matter. One of the worst things... all bad, that's okay. You've only... you got three chances. One of the worst things I've ever seen in my life is I went to a... What I thought was a punk rock concert not very long ago. Sure, they're a little poppy, whatever. Say anything. A band I've loved for a long time. Since I was a kid. Never got to see them live. Like, high school... Is a real boy. That album was so important to me. Loved these guys. Followed them. Every new album was really into them. And then I finally got to see them live at the Granada, which is a really cool venue in Dallas. And it was the worst. Like it was so disappointing. First thing he says is, "Hey, I'm the only member that is original from the band. All these guys are new. That we this is our first show together. Let's play some new stuff." And it was the worst. But even worse than that, <clears throat> before they worser is before they got on stage. This other playing, kids were jumping on stage, running up next to the lead singer, selfieing with him, and then jumping into the pit. I wanted to die. That is the worst thing I've ever seen. It was terrible. You're just mad. <laughs> I would never do that. That was you so. You wish you did not. I you if you had a <clears throat> selfie with your favorite band in the world, you'd be like, yeah, look at this. This is my LinkedIn profile picture. Now. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. It was it was terrible. You've I mean, probably done that before, Holly. No! I, I mean, I, I went to a John Butler show, uh, my wife and I did, and it was just full of people. They just had their phones up the entire time. They recorded... How many iPads the, did you see? Oh, maybe no. Maybe one. Um, that drives me crazy. It's the worst. iPad but, photos, don't do it. No, if people were jumping on stage and taking selfies with them, I, we, I totally would have done that, though. <laughs> so like, also, the first so you're for that, no, but against... I wouldn't have been the first one to do it. <laughs> Just because it bothers me, that's why. The, uh... I, no. I hate it. I hate people taking video of concerts. But, not this past weekend, but the weekend before, I spent all morning on YouTube watching the first stop of the new U2 tour. How did I know it was going to be YouTube? Yep. <laughs> yep. Because there is also the trend now of people going and buying, so like a team of four going to a concert, buying four seats, one low to get the sound, one high to get a high video, one close to get a close video, and one on the side to get a side video. This isn't real. And then you record the audio and then mix it together into the whole concert on YouTube and hope it down. That seems like a lot of something. There are, be certain, taken down. there are certain bands who, like whose live like experience is so high like that who. you want to capture that. So you know any of your like perennial touring acts. But the thing they is, want those videos. I'm I hate it. I love it, but I spent five hours watching an entire YouTube concert on YouTube. So. But the thing is, like, if you're, if the live experience is that amazing, don't you want to be there and see it and experience it instead of doing all that nonsense? I do, but I live in Dallas and the first show was in Vancouver. Right. I'm not saying you. I'm talking about the people that are doing you. I mean... They're not... They don't they, care. They're just out to make YouTube money. I yeah. guess. Are they going to make enough to cover the cost to record that? And, you know, it sounds like what the... Kind of set it up and go. Yeah. Everyone else, yes. There's are okay. bags and they... Shouldn't be allowed to do with Next that. question. Next please. question. Next topic. Our very own Mechus submitted some <laughs> things that bother him. Uh, mandatory valet parking. I don't know if this is a regional thing, but this is very focused. Like, this shit is everywhere, and I am on board with him. It's super annoying. I never have cash, so I always feel bad. You never know. Like, sometimes it's mandatory and you have to pay. It's like complimentary valet, but that's not true because you got to tip them. No, you don't. If it's mandatory and it's complimentary, don't. I, I don't know. I can't. I'm just kidding. It's I can't fine. do that. Tip, and it's just super frustrating. Like, 
it's obviously a reason to for them to get more money, right? Like, yeah. That's the it, only reason just, for this. No, because if they do not have a whole lot of parking space, then it's a lot more, uh, whatever the word that I can't think of is right now, to just have some one person park all the cars in a weird, screwed up way that he can move them around, and you don't have a bunch of jackasses parking poorly. Yeah, but then you still, it's still annoying, because you got to uh, wait for however long for them to pull out eight cars to get your car, and then it's all, I don't know, it's, it's a big mess. it's an area that parking sucks, all for it. Parking sucks everywhere, right. but I'm still so not for let's it. Let's the parking for me. I'm fine with it. Mm, I don't want to pay for Move it. Move to the suburbs. Nah. Yeah, that you're right. That doesn't sound good. Don't do that. Uh, any thoughts? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, any thoughts? Okay. Charlie, got do you need to go to the hospital? <laughs> a Mexican demon just <laughs> came into my soul. A young priest and an old priest. <laughs> where's Where's John Hart? <laughs> Which one is? Uh, how do you feel about this? Um, I I don't think I've come into that many things where I've dealt with this. Because oh, yeah. you live in the suburbs. I don't actually. Um, but you live in the city, surrounded by the suburbs. Okay, so. <laughs> When my husband and I would go into like LA to go to Pantages or something, that was super convenient, um, and I liked it a lot then. But now, like, it's only happened once. I moved here, and it was like a, diet, so it was fine. All right, next next topic from Mechis: participation trophies for kids. He's very against it. Uh, Get rid of them. You, Chad P, have a new child. How do you feel about this? None of us have, have children. So. I, I am against participation trophies. I think that, it I don't know, it, it creates the wrong idea about life. That even if you lose, you win. Because <laughs> guess what? Life sucks. <laughs> I'm talking directly to you, son. <laughs> life sucks. It's shit. Things are going to go wrong. Just, just remember that. You and don't it's... need a trophy to say, Oh, it's too bad things are bad, so I guess I'll be good. No, they're still bad. Say I'm the negative one. <laughs> he is the negative one. That's true. true. I'm the negative one. <laughs> People, you say you're the negative one. <laughs> <laughs> ne- I, negative I, one. How do you feel about this? I think they're fine. Like people are panicking because oh, all the kids. Who can Like I got participation trophies, and well, I knew they weren't. Out? I knew they weren't. Uh, they weren't a prize. They weren't to be proud of. Like I remember up to, at the end of field day, I was like seven participation trophies and I got one third place and I wasn't proud of that like look at all the no they were <laughs> and I was ashamed of them <laughs> so and for you it was a, a successful motivational it was, tool it was a, of this yeah, is a symbol I, of my failure because the next year field day I totally did a lot better <laughs> um, no I mean it just didn't affect anything <laughs> I really think people put more value in them than the kids actually do here's what I think it is I think people are conflating it with other things and saying like oh this is just this yeah. caused you know this is what causes our entitled like soft kids these days no that's like, parents they Sorry, all everybody. get participants and blah 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 I have a kid I will make him entitled it's fine <laughs> it's my fault you have no choice like it's you have an uphill battle I feel to in today's world I agree to not raise a shitty kid. Like, it's it's hard to not raise shitty kids nowadays. But, I mean, we were shitty kids, too. Mm, I don't know. I think we... Maybe we just fall into the same trap of every generation that thinks they're better than the yeah. upcoming one. Probably so. But we'll see. Mm. We'll see. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you, everyone's going to wonder what that was, because I'm sure it was great. I, okay. You know... It, isn't it good to, you know, you've got to push your kid to do shit and not just sit at home on the computer. So, don't you kind of want to reward them for participating and not being... Yeah, but there's other for your kid than getting a ribbon. Ribbon? Yeah. Is there a competition a reward enough? Not for some. Positive reinforcement through... <laughs> not for me. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess just, that's... I guess I agree with you. I think it's good to encourage, like, you got to do stuff. Like, even if... I think the thing is, if your kid's not good at something... You need to let them say, hey, I'm not good at this. Can I stop doing this? Like, you need to not push something that they yeah. hate. But also, do things at the same time. Yeah. It's the whole yeah. thing of, like, you know, fail fast. Like, do your thing, and then if you, if you suck at it, that's fine. Just try something else. 
I'm gonna get us all participation awards for the lap stream. <laughs> yeah, if you guys we don't, tried. if you don't save our stream, we'll all be wistfully looking at our participation trophies. We're totally uh, making it's just, those. It's just yeah. a ribbon. Don't get excited. <laughs> okay, uh, Mechas, you had enough, so we're not gonna ask her the question. Um, Metaphore says, "Why is licorice Twizzler Red Vine such a crap candy?" I think it's Who two wants questions. To, to I go think first. it's Twizzler or Red Vine. Do you prefer? And then two questions. On the I don't know. I, okay. Well, I, I, I disagree. Paraphrase, I so. love licorice. Can we? Uh, can we just eliminate this question really quick? It's not a crap candy. No, licorice is great. Moving on. What are you talking about? It's a bad candy. You oh, can make. No. It's not the worst candy. Oh no. Black licorice is the worst candy. No. Okay, black licorice no, you're all wrong. is not great. Like Jaeger. You are all wrong. Black licorice is delicious and it's good for you. It's fine. I would never choose it. It's more like medicine than candy. I love black licorice. Give it to me. But red licorice, Give it to me. red licorice, <laughs> Twizzlers and such. You never been to a movie theater and made a Twizzler straw? Come on. That's, mm -hmm. Come on. That was part of my childhood. Red vines. Twizzlers. Depends on the mood. Yeah, I like both. Yep. They're the same. I like, I like the rope. It's just a <laughs> game. They're the same. <laughs> I mean, they're really, like, the crazy flavor Twizzlers, those are fine. The rainbow ones? Sure, I Green guess. Green ones, blue like, ones. Pull apart Twizzlers? I like those. Yeah. Yeah. Those are nice. Yeah. Alright. A. Kregel says, Artificial sweeteners, aren't they more poison than healthful? If you care about losing weight, shouldn't you just drink water? You sacrifice. M-I-B-B-M-M-M-N-D-D-D-S. Whatever the acronym is. Um, I'll start... I think people freak out about this too much, and every other day there's a study of aspartame causes cancer, but then there's like 87 other things that also cause cancer, so Cigarettes. everything causes cancer, just do whatever. Pretty uh, I think it's overblown. I'm sure that they're not great for you. I'm sure it's better than sugar, probably. Uh, yes, you should just drink water, but that's hard because we live in the first world and we want stuff and we don't want to just drink water. Actually, so if, on the first part, I agree. If I can, oh, man, I, I go, lead guys. This I, doesn't feel good. If I can, I go like whole fat, natural sugar as much as I can because that's what people before I say, and they're fine. It's fine. As far as water goes, water is like my favorite drink. It is not boring. And you are crazy. I drink like okay. So I have this. This is twenty four ounces. I'll probably drink like four or five of those a day. Let's let's also go into that she brings... Uh, I want to know what the forums think about this. She brings this water bottle into restaurants to fill it up instead of getting a water cup. I had never okay. seen it before. You're I think it's California. weird. Like, it's it's weird. a thing that people do. No, no, that's no weird. I've it's never seen thing. it before. It's a weird thing that weird people do. It's not. <laughs> it's saving the Chat, is this weird or not? Who Has anyone done this or does anyone do it's this? It's not weird. It's perfectly fine and it's... It doesn't harm anybody in any way. True, but it's still weird. It's not weird. Super weird. Okay, maybe it's a thing, but people did that literally. Like people would judge you on water Are you taking a picture of the camera? Are you taking a <laughs> selfie right now? You're the worst. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing if anyone was paying attention. Um, I'm gonna put this up on YouTube later. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take that down, so <laughs> don't try to monetize. Uh, but yes, of course you should drink water. Of course water is the best thing for you to be healthy. Water is not the best drink. I'll name many better drinks. Coffee. Whiskey. I'll give you coffee. Uh, coffee. New Mountain Dew Dew Shine. <laughs> <laughs> Topo Chico, which I guess is technically water. It's just water, dude. It's mineral water, and it's amazing. Mm, and it's, it's so good. good. And it's delicious. Uh, tequila. Tea. Um, I like water. Coffee and yeah. water. I get a bad wrap around here for liking aspartame. Tame uh, time. I get, yeah, tame time is something I enjoy. Uh, I <laughs> Sometimes like, you just gotta have some tame. Gotta have some like, tame. Uh, no, I like Diet Pepsi a lot. That's my go-to uh, Diet drink. Coke. Pepsi too, but. Um, but I'm like really excited that Diet Pepsi is changing to take out aspartame. So uh, I, I usually try to not drink soda for one month a year. Mm-hmm. Um, just to, I don't know, make myself feel better, I guess. 
But like, I you definitely feel some effects when you give up soda. Like, you definitely True. have um, a bad day, and then you have you know you start, yeah. your body starts to come back together. So there's probably some some amount of validity to right. something in sodas messing you up, whether it's the aspartame or the coloring or whatever. I, it could be something. I read an article, and it was like comparing um, drinking soda to taking heroin. And what it does to your body is very similar. Yeah. And I showed that to my husband. Very similar he, as well. he doesn't drink soda anymore. Well. He changed his mind that much. Is his heroin habit still <laughs> going strong, though? <laughs> yeah. Can't, can't talk about that on the air. Can't stop the heroin, but soda is right out. Uh, all right. We're going to cue some A's here since okay. we are, are already. One thing to wrap up, though 100% of the chat says you're weird. <laughs> yes. No, they're all wrong. We they're are, all wrong. We are right. No. No. Oh, beer. Also better than water. Um, no. Next. Dash Cloud asks, to start our cues, what was it like finding out you're kind of a big deal in South Korea? Uh, it was crazy. It was a so, weird day. It was super weird. Basically, what happened was, when we sold the, the speaker docs, JBL speaker docs, I think for the it's first the second time, time. Second, second time. Second time. Yeah. The second time, all up. of a sudden, we had like 60% of our traffic was from Korea. Yeah. We had no idea this was going to happen. We had no clue what was even going on or why they were like interested in the site there's a lot of sudden posts in korean on the forums and we were like what is going here and uh one of our co-founders had is married someone from south korea and she had her family helped him translate some stuff and figure on and basically it was a weird like coincidence like all this stuff came together where South Korea relaxed import laws to make it cheaper to import stuff under a certain value. $200. <clears throat> and at the same time, South Korea's economy is very monopoly based. So Samsung pretty much over there. So everything is really expensive for electronics. So they were seeing our site and they're like, holy crap, this sells for like a hundred plus dollars in Korea. This site is selling for 15, even with freight forwarding and everything, it's still going to be half the price. So that's kind of how it started. And then once they knew about us, there's, uh, you know, much like here, there's deal sites there where they do deals and sites and all that. And one of the big ones started covering us every single day, and that's pretty much carried o- over until now. Um, the activity has died down a little bit. To At first, we wanted to have this idea of a buy like we were going to have try to have crossovers and single topics that everyone could post in, and that's really, really hard. So... We learned that pretty quick. Even though we had support, Korean support, mm-hmm. and we still have one of our team members who speaks Korean, it's really hard to do. It's hard to integrate those two two cultures because of the language barrier is just really difficult. Yeah. It is not as good as we'd like it's it to be. It's so wonderful, though, getting support emails. They It translates almost as, like, poetry. <laughs> I've actually um, I've watercolored a couple of them. It's true. They're pretty fantastic. So, I like them a lot. Yeah, we might need to post one of those in the thread uh, after this. Two more questions. Um, That's hard because there's yep. a lot of good ones. Well, you said we had to talk about this no, one. No, let's skip that Soma one. Geek asks, which is your favorite Batman and why? Let's start with Holly. Hallball, who's your favorite Batman? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> The amount okay. of silence needed. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna say Christian Bale, and we'll move on. That's totally valid. Chad, That's a fine answer. <laughs> um, I like Michael Keaton as Batman. I like the Christian Bale movie, and uh, Kevin Conroy, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> uh, I one. like, I like Dark Dark Knight Returns, old old Batman. I also like. Superman Red Sun, communist Batman. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> he is super interesting. I love that his little his outfit includes a little fur hat. Uh, if you haven't read that comic, it's super good. It is a kind of Elseworlds what if story where instead of landing in Kansas, Superman lands in Russia and they become the superpower of the world and kind of fighting against him from within because he's, you know, about freedom and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, super awesome comic. Read that and also read Dark Knight. Um, worst Batman, George Clooney. Bat nipples are terrible. Um, George Lazenby. Let's see. <laughs> Roger Moore was the worst Batman. 
John Connery was a pretty good Batman. <laughs> oh man, that's a deep cut. <laughs> Pierce Brosnan. He was I mean, fine. He, he, we grew up with him yeah, as our he was Batman. Fine. So. He was a good Batman. Uh, let's go with a couple sure. more. <laughs> um, I'll do this one real quick. Are QR, QR codes still a thing? Oppo dude. No. Moving on. Uh, so, I... No. As we discussed on my <laughs> no. on the last stream, I formerly worked at a lamp company. And one of the companies was like, hey, those newfangled QAR codes, we want some of them on our tags. And I was like, okay, they're QR codes. And like, yeah, the QAR codes. <laughs> and so... Uh, <laughs> Long story short, I ended up like heading up this whole dumb project to put QAR codes on these tags, and oh. then yeah. Good question. <laughs> no, continue. You have a question. I was okay. still wrong. And so, you know, the company would check in and be like, "Hey, how many scans are we getting?" And I'd I'd look and I was like, "Well, there's <laughs> scans, but wait a minute. The, some of these lamps aren't even on the shelves yet." Realize that um, in China, the factories part of their uh, quality control. <laughs> Thing was to scan every QR code, so like, sure. yeah. So oh. almost all of them were from China, and I think in total got to like. Boy, 15. those analytics looked good though, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <they're> just, <laughs> you're like, oh man, every single code has been scanned. I was so wrong <laughs> a thousand times. Uh, I have, I think, scanned one one single time. I downloaded that red laser app or whatever, and yeah. I thought it was cool because you can use it for other stuff. But I scan them. Just, I don't know why. <laughs> we I had mean, one on dumb. our wedding invitations. That was how people replied to the RSVP. Actually, you it's know It's kind of cool. Did they bring their... <laughs> Some people did. Some people did, and it was fine. Actually, my, my alarm uh, on my phone that wakes me up, I it won't turn off until I scan a QR code that I have taped to the wall in my bathroom. <laughs> and I... It's like the... Instructions were like scan any QR code, so I just cut one off of a wedding invitation that I had gotten and taped it to my wall in the bathroom. That's and I great. Scan that every morning. Smart. That is a very smart idea. Okay, one more. Will just three. Oh, there's so many good ones. Says nope. Is Moose the collective little brother of the group? Uh, no. no, he is the old man of the group. Yeah. Also no. He has an old soul. Um, Stop talking about my soul. It's very old. Uh, Charlie Charlie Curmudgeon, yeah. is after it. Uh, ah, he can. He's a lovable curmudgeon, though. <laughs> he's just proving our point right now. Uh, let's do one more. Talk about the storms and if we if we are affected and how. K demo. It's rained a lot. It's rained a lot. It did rain a lot. The lightning was so cool last night. Yeah. We didn't get to barbecue during Memorial Day. That's pretty much the extent of it. Yeah, for, that's for true. Us. Um, we do not actually, well, all right, one more, I like this one. Tend to not get to work. Is that the one you're doing? No. Sammy Doggo won. What's from Meh and why? Uh, from Meh. I'm trying to think of my best purchase. I, if you look at my apartment, it's just kind of funny, because you can just say, like, meh, 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 like, all the different stuff I've bought. Uh, I use the so most. Didn't buy from here. You also say, meh, meh. <laughs> Stuff I, I use the most is probably the, I bought one of the IPS AOC monitors and I use that because I don't have a TV in the living room. We use that as our TV. I hook up the laptop to it, watch Netflix, Hulu, whatever. Um, use that all the time. Cutting boards that we bought were really good. Use those a lot. Um, what about you guys? Uh, what I'd use the most? Or your favorite if it's... Well, my favorite is the Caloric Deep Fryer. Um, wow. I love yeah, that I thing. It was ten bucks. Uh, I'd wanted one for a while. Um, I tried to make cronuts, and it kind of epic failed. Um, but I've made lots of really good things, like onion rings. Um, my husband makes amazing fried chicken. Um, I love that thing. It's definitely worth the ten bucks. My favorite is the Foscam Outdoor Wireless IP camera <laughs> on sale today from <laughs> at med.com. M E H dot com. This guy is trying to save the stream right now. Yes, he is. He's driving sales, driving traffic. It's doing well. It's yeah. doing well. Uh, uh, I bought a DJI Phantom. That was pretty cool. Yeah. True, true. Um, that said, I don't even know if that's really my favorite. Uh, okay, I bought the shirts. The great right, for uh, jump ropes. For a day. I've got a lot of shirts. I have shirts, I have shirts. many shirts. Lots of snap cables. Yeah. Um, uh, I think I, my orders. 
sheets, sheets and comforter. And oh, the comforter, yeah. My whole bed is great. all from Meh, so happy about that. Use that the most, I guess. I found an AccuForce helicopter last night that I didn't, I had forgotten that I had. So plug that in and scare the shit out of my dog. <laughs> uh, they, my, my, my bigger dog Tucker, he does things that don't quite make sense, like people rollerblading. <laughs> the, it, it's not okay with. He's him. like, wait a second. And so, so a thing that just starts making noise and flies that was way too much for him. He started barking and growling, and it was so good times. I got those too. My cat. I have two cats. They had very different reactions. Blue's terrified of it like Tucker, and Swiper is, like, intrigued, like, feels the need to defend his territory, and he, like, chases it all around our apartment, but then he's, like, too scared to actually, like, get it when it's close to him, but he, like, chases it and, like, meows at it. Super weird. Also, I love my Ninja Blender. Mm. Okay. I'm trying to find some quick draw-something suggestions to wrap up. Uh, I'm not finding a lot. I mean, the, they have to draw something today, right? That's true. You so guys we can do have to draw something. I really do like this one. So how are we going to do it? Let's Should do. We draw two people drawing it. At yeah. The table? yeah. We will. We will draw. Sorry for terrible noises that just happened. I'm not. Uh, right. How are we going to do it? Who, is someone guessing? Should we both just draw it, our interpretation of it? That makes sure. Sense. We're already yeah. off the rails. Okay. Uh, we're going to wrap up after we finish this drawing. You have until 2 to submit your drone.horse ideas. Um, yeah, we will, we will select prizes. By, we'll select winners by the end of the day. Uh, and we will see how this goes. I don't, I don't know what they're drawing, but I'm... Just drawing Charlie the Mexican dealer? <laughs> I'm still here, you just can't see me. Um, yeah. I've, I've run out of ideas. There's nothing there. You know what? I'm already forgotten what I was supposed to be drawing. So now, and here's a dog. It looks like a cat, but it's a dog. No. Draw Godzilla versus me. <laughs> versus moose or versus dogs? me? It's a dog riding a fish. It's a jackal. It's a jackal. Says Bruce Oye. <laughs> oh man, draw a badger. A, it's a good joke around here. Why do people always want badgers to be drawn? As badgers. That's a pirate dog horse it's... boat. Okay, it's. What do you guys? Are, are people the cat guessing? riding a shark pirate? Yeah, you two guess. Shark cat pirate. <laughs> Diddy Kong <laughs> on the back of a salmon. Yes, that's it. Got it. <laughs> Why is your shark a member of the SS? That's not cool. That is weird. That, that is weird Nazi. that you're Nazi. That's not okay. <laughs> Nazi pirates. <laughs> Alright, we've clearly gone off the rails. Alright. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us for this early morning edition of the stream. Yes, Matt. Her shirt says mischief and anger. What? My shirt? Oh, the back of it. It says, I solemnly swear I'm not up to no good. And on the back it says mischief managed. And anger. Doesn't say anger. Doesn't say anger. Okay. Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, post your drone.horse ideas in the thread. Give us your feedback in the thread. I'm posting a survey for you guys to answer. It'll be really quick. Yeah. Um, please tell someone about the show. Tell them about meh. Tell them about meh because of the show. That's the important part. Say that, you know, you brought some people to the site because you like the show. Uh, that would really help us out. Or that you just want the show to continue. Any kind of post saying that you, you, you want us to keep going, that you like it, would well, really help us out. To tell us that you don't. That yeah, you or if you just think it sucks, then tell us that. But don't tell us that. Because don't tell us that. we want to keep doing this. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to silence you. you. You let your voice be heard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Thanks for joining us in the live oh. stream. Meh.com, drone.horse, drone mediocre.horse. Mediocre dot horse, <laughs> not yet, but soon maybe. Um, and and yeah, two p.m. Eastern for for your pictures. Yeah. Two p.m. Well, two, two p.m. Drawn dot horse picture. Draw it. Two p.m. We out. <laughs>